dirt doesn't just keep on falling down and this building goes I mean, sliding it down the mountain. almost turning this thing into like a little tiny home. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters up on the mountain over at the barn build where as you guys seen in the previous video, this is what we were mainly focused on and we made some amazing progress as you can tell behind me. We got the whole entire roof knocked out. We got this whole entire side and we fully customized it with windows and that took a good bit of time but you know what it was well worth it right here this thing is going to be pretty sweet when we're all said and done with it because we still got a bunch more little custom touches that we want to do but today what we want to do is basically focus on the structure itself and we're going to focus on that wall over there and all we want to do is add a door and a window but we do got to pick out a sweet custom door as well probably a full glass door the package came with that door right there but that's just not going to cut it we got to have some views in there also, we're just going to do one window up high there, and we want to kind of have a wall because we might like throw some cabinets, some shelves, and you kind of just want to have a full wall. So we'll do that right there. And of course, we still got to frame out the back side over there and the front side. The front is just going to be a roll-up garage door, but the back, I think we're going to install a glass door back there as well. And look how tall that is right there. That's pretty tall, but not only that, back there, it's a huge cliff. So I really don't know how we're going to work back there, but you know what? We made it this far, figuring stuff out as we go, and I think we're just going to do what we got to do, dude. dude. We're just going to have to get a long longer ladder that's all i gotta say but yeah the, after we get knock out this wall i believe we're just gonna focus on that back one the hardest wall the front wall is gonna be the easiest yes, sir, dude yeah. so we just want to get as much as we possibly can done today because as we get inside dude we're gonna do some sweet stuff our sawmill is coming in tomorrow so i can't wait to actually test that out for the very first time but as of right now what we want to do is actually run into town so we're gonna unload everything off that trailer right there we got some sheet metal some beams and all that good stuff and we're gonna probably run to the home depot first find a nice custom door and also another window and then we gotta pick up a few more supplies some more of those beams because we used a bunch of them up for doing that custom work right there and also we got to pick up like some angles and a few other little things here and there so i say we go ahead get some stuff moved off that trailer hook up the trailer run to town get back over here and get some stuff done Guys, so we made it back here with everything that we need. We got $2,000 worth of tubing right there. It's crazy, but those suckers are $125 a piece now, which I believe they used to be like 50 bucks whenever we first built our metal building back at uh, Parents' House. Dude. You so got that right. That's some crazy amount of prices right now. But you know what? We got we we needed that because we bought our brand new door, which is right there, the full glass door. We didn't get the ones with the little shades in there that goes up and down because I believe that one was like 100 bucks cheaper, and that's all we need. That's all we need. And we also picked up a little window right here that's what's gonna go directly on this wall probably the same height as a cabinet or something like that that way we can have a nice little view wherever we put like a little like a desk or something you know what yes, I yes mean? sir yeah we don't need any blinds anyways man this needs to be fully nature visible from inside and outside and all that stuff yeah dude. it's gonna be like a refreshing little you no know, barn it's gonna look really good we got you know we're gonna make it super sick and also we got a few extra of these brackets right here that we definitely needed some more a bag of uh, extra bolts and stuff like that and what else did we get this oh, right here dude yeah i almost
almost forgot the most important thing is our sawzall because we couldn't get our actual um Cummins what's it called generator. Cummins generator working man things just won't start for nothing i don't i believe there's no spark so can't figure out the issue may have to just end up getting a power stroke generator that's dude. what i'm talking about dude Cummins what's going on man <laughs> i think we got warranty on that thing we'll take it back to the rv center and they should give us our money back give us a new one dude or, or swap it out the for thing power is nice stroke. dude yeah. but yeah so we're gonna use this to cut that right there because the floor needs to sit to the ground yep the door is gonna be sitting right there and that's exactly where we're gonna put the door on the side we're thinking about it in the front but we kind of want to keep that barn look in the front of this building it's gonna look really nice so i say we just go ahead and actually not waste any more time uh, oh you can't forget man i about, <laughs> I about forgot said, man dude. i got some new gloves got tool belt just need to put some tools in there and get straight to work so let's just go ahead and frame out these door sections the window section and then hopefully get some metal on this thing Alrighty guys, so check this out. This barn is turning out absolutely sweet so far. So the first thing we ended up doing was framing out for that window right there and that door. And we even slapped on all that sheet metal. Looks nice and clean from this side right here. Nice and subtle. So if you drive in from there, you're really just going to think it's a regular barn. But if you hop on that side or hop inside, it's going to blow your mind. Let's you go got ahead. that right, Let's man. go ahead and walk through this door right here. So this is nice and clean right here. Just a basic glass door, of course. Then you walk in over here. And the reason why we put this window about yay high right here, we did the measurements it's like 36 inches and that's like your normal cabinets right there we might even put like some sort of little cabinetry right here below the window and also above the window maybe you Dude, never know that's what i'm saying make a little like uh, cabernet whatever you call those little areas you know what i mean yeah. little little like kitchen without the sink you know what exactly. i mean exactly we're almost turning this thing into like a little tiny home dude, dude this is gonna be an off-grid little section it's right like a little here office dude. Dude. this is like really cool but you know what this is definitely gonna be like a man cave and i'm thinking just like one smack dab right here build right here in the middle dude, dude just work on it that would be epic that'd dude be wild. but anyways we ended up moving on to this back wall right here this is a tall wall but you know what we knocked it out we framed it up there's still the sheet metal that we got to slap on this is taking a good bit of time to do because lots of cutting lots of measuring lots of screwing or self-tapping and all that stuff and all the uh, upgrades we're doing like upgrades. this amazing door dude customizations look at this door right here a nice sliding door let me unlock it right quick and it's just gonna Dang. jump right outside to a nice back porch right there maybe have a little hot tub on there or something you're i don't know if we my get, language man we might have to get 220 <laughs> out here to throw a hot tub right there maybe we'll do a, a maybe solar we'll, solar powered hot tub dude can you get 220 from solar panels well, yeah, i'm sure you can some i mean they run of, houses off of that stuff yeah some dude. sort of inverter converter or maybe we'll just like throw a big old generator somewhere over there yeah but, wind powered generator dude a windmill dude. dude we can easily run one out here with the wind we have out here that is very true but other than that dude i think that's gonna be pretty much it for tonight i mean the sun is already going down just give them that view of these four windows right here looking that way dude, that dude looks epic. when the sun goes out a little bit more it turns orange like we mentioned and like through those woods it looks amazing so those windows are in the perfect spot yes, sir and we need to light this place up nice and bright maybe with like some warm lights in here maybe some hanging lights you know like you have on your back patio dude or like wood in the barn like we need to do some barn research see what barn lights Definitely. people use dude exactly and also hopefully the sawmill comes in tomorrow and we'll have even more ideas but that's gonna be pretty much it for tonight i guess we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning.
And as you can tell, we are just moving right along. And the first thing that we started with this morning was actually running a power cord from up the mountain all the way down over here. This is Pop's idea. He had a little bit of extra wire, so he ran it down over here just in case we need that. And I think it's a good idea because we're gonna start lighting this place up here really soon. So it's good to have that. We might even start using some bigger tools and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, especially on the inside. Once we get it completely like boxed in, it's yes. gonna be dark in there, dude. And as you can tell, we are boxed. And look at that. We got this whole entire rear section halfway done right there. And look at these ladders right here, dude. They're just falling apart, basically. Dude. dude, right on the edge. I mean, we may have, we did bring a bigger ladder, we did. though, so we're going to have to use that. For yes, sure. sir. We're going to figure this out. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe we can even get the skid steer back here, lift it up, and put the ladders up on that bucket or something like that. But right now, we have to pause because our sawmill is arriving right now to the new commercial property. He just gave me a call. He's about 10 minutes out. We're about 30 minutes away. So we're going to be a little bit late, but you know what? We're excited because dude. this right here is going to be a game changer. We're going to go ahead and chop some of these trees down right here. And no, we are. We already got plenty oh, of trees. We, do. yeah, we, don't we already got plenty. We don't need to chop anything That's down. True. We need to start sawing some stuff. Dude, we got dude. a bunch of trees up at the new house over there. I can't wait to make like a plank or something, slap it on the wall, and just keep on slapping, dude. Yes, sir. It's gonna look super sick. But anyways, I say we go ahead, hop into the truck, and go pick up our sawmill. So we are finally done with the hardest wall, which is that back wall right there. And dude, we just got it complete. And I'm actually happy that we're done with that, dude. Dude, I'm happier than you, I think, man. Dude, that was pretty sketchy <laughs> working was on the so back, sketchy. dude. The ground is like a little bit crumbly back there and it's super steep and the ladders were kind of sliding, man. Yeah. But look at that, we made it to the very top, got those angles cut properly. That was difficult alone, just cutting those angles. Yeah, I know, just, get, I, we actually had to cut the last one up at the top or the last two with the grinder. So that was pretty sketchy and we made to get all that stuff screwed down which was pretty difficult those self tappers man need some pressure for dude. them to go in but dude look at that got it completely knocked out got that door framed it really nicely with that sheet metal and that just looks super good it almost like makes it look super massive in here dude it, it is pretty tall in here as well but like you were saying cutting that stuff was pretty difficult without even cutting your finger man i'm telling you that stuff is sharp hey, you'll get jacked up i'm man. glad i had gloves on today because the other day it was like messing up my glove my hands a little bit but you know what we got this front part right here is going to be super simple i mean all we super. got is that roll-up door and we can actually use the skid steer over here and lift up some of these 
these panels, you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. So that was the most difficult part, like you said, that back wall right there. And the guy that came out here to drop the package off was actually talking about this barn style metal building right here. He said this is the most difficult build you can do. Right? Yeah, the barn style because of how much cuts and the way the roof is laid out and stuff like that. He said, if you can build this one, you can build any one of them. So, I mean, I'm pretty, pretty glad we started with the hard one, dude. <laughs> and not only are we just building it regular, look how much customizing we're doing, dude, man. doors, tons of windows, that sliding door, which that just turned out amazing. Look at that thing, dude. Now all we have to have is a little back deck over here, which while we were working back here, we are also thinking about, you know, how steep this dirt is right here. And also we may end up doing a retaining wall. I don't know if we will, but I'm thinking that if we can find like some good retaining wall, like blocks, I know some constructions that like commercial, they use these big old like- Cinder blocks or something like that. They just look like big old Cement stone. Blocks. Yeah, but they're actually squared off rectangle blocks. And if we can, you bet you're falling down there. <laughs> I'm gonna come down there and show them how steep it is. But you were saying if we can find those, we could throw them all the way around this whole entire steep area. That way this dirt doesn't just keep on falling down and this building goes I mean, sliding down the mountain. it doesn't really fall until we're like walking on and stuff True. like that. But it rained a lot like lately. I mean, it's been raining off and on and this dirt has still been pretty, pretty put, you know, it's not moving around mm -hmm. like crazy. But if we do find those blocks, we can make like a little loop right here and probably fill it in with gravel or a, a little more bit dirt. more dirt. Yep. And then after that, it should be, it should be fine, dude, dude. Exactly. I think, I think it'll be good. If we can't find the big ones, we'll find the little ones too. And we definitely got to build something back here because we already put in, we invested a lot into this building, so yes. we can't have it just going like this way. Yeah. I believe actually a company reached out to us about some retaining walls that they offered those, you know, the ones that you see normally around like the uh, constructions that have like big old walls and stuff. So we may end up going that route, but who knows? But as for the deck over here, dude, I'm thinking now about like building a nice deck to even wrap around that side over there. I think that would be pretty cool. You know that what I mean? That would be super cool right there. Having a whole entire deck that way, I guess that door, you can kind of walk around to the yeah. deck from the side as well yeah, that'd be maybe, pretty neat maybe let the deck come out about like three four foot on this side and just end it off right underneath that door that way if you don't have to walk inside to go on the deck you know yeah, what i mean but this looks super sweet from this side as well we might have to add a window somewhere up there because we were just thinking dude. about adding stuff to the inside right dude let's hop back in here dude real quick because i mean there's so much you can do to this building right here i mean right off the bat the first thing that came up to mind whenever we finished this wall dude you can actually make another story up there you dude. could and we were thinking like maybe just have like a little maybe office area up there that way because we're trying to build the ultimate man cave yeah. one one build in the center right here. I don't know what that next build is, but we already have our eye on a couple, dude. Dude, always, dude. Always got our eyes out. And uh, I mean, we already planning on some stuff, so can't talk too much. But yeah, we can either do a halfway two-story thing or we can do the full thing, you know yep, what I mean? We'll decide on that a little bit later, but as for that sawmill, dude. Dude, we picked it up, which is crazy. It was, it, this, this sawmill is technically a sawmill trailer. So there's a trailer inside these two boxes over here, which is crazy, but in the next one, we're definitely gonna uh, probably just go ahead and reassemble that whole entire thing yeah right there. because i mean i honestly thought it was just gonna be a whole entire trailer we're just gonna hook it up to the truck and we'll there's be good. two tires in there and wheels <laughs> i don't know hopefully that's everything right there but in the next one we're definitely gonna throw that whole entire thing together maybe even do a test cut but for the most part that's pretty much it for today that's a lot of work done on the barn we got everything that we wanted to knock down the next one we're probably gonna finish this sucker up on the exterior and it's gonna be super epic but that's gonna be all for today's video guys Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.